Hey guys, what's going on? So we are just kind of working on some miscellaneous. We stripped out the two furnaces ACs today. We got some buckets of uh, miscellaneous stuff that uh, we're working on. Isaiah's doing uh, egg coils here. So, yeah. So we've had two names so far for Isaiah for a nickname. Uh, one is Wizard and the other one is Shred. So I don't know. They said uh, name him Shred because he wears them heavy metal shirts and he obviously likes to shred and well because of scrapping, you know. Um, then we got this bin here we still got to do. We're just doing that A coil afterwards. And uh, Rooster's working on motors. And yeah, so I'm going to set up the camera and uh, we'll let you guys kind of just, I guess, watch what we do and how we get some stuff done. And it's kind of a short video for y'all. Why not? Maybe it'll be a short video. We don't know yet. Alright, they can see everything now. Alright. So guys, in the meantime, do me a favor, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to ring that bell around our road to 3,000 subscribers. Alright guys, alright guys, sorry about that. I thought that we were recording, but apparently for the last 20 minutes we weren't. But we got a lot of it already done. But uh, you guess you guys can chill with me while I go through this bell, I guess. This is just small miscellaneous stuff we go through. Transformers, transformer bucket. That's a nice copper pipe. Some wiring, that's number two insulated. Some more copper pipe. put all the copper pipe in a bucket until uh, it overflows and then we tend to chop it all up. Because <coughs> some of this copper pipe has brass on it and some of it doesn't. We try to make it small enough so that way we can fit as much copper as we got in the drum. And switch. Keep our prop pins as well. Some dirty aluminum there. The motor. Careful because sometimes there's some small brass bits down here that we want to get. Cast and small brassy bits. Turn the yellow brass right there. All right, that is empty. It's empty there, okay. So we're gonna pass this bucket of wire to Rooster. And he's gonna dump that in a big barrel up top here. All right, good stuff. All right. Isaiah is just going over, going through some brass here, I'll show you. He's just pulling up big stuff there. We got uh, taps and valves and yeah, he's kind of got it mixed up here. 
These are supposed to be in one bucket. Okay, must have thrown that in by accident. Okay. And uh, this is a tap right over there. We're gonna do videos. On, uh, I don't know why you're throwing those in there. We're gonna do videos on uh, stripping some of these valves out, show you guys the easy ways to do them, and uh, taps as well. So, yeah. Okay. All right, uh, can you carry this over to the table for me and bring that other bucket too, please? Mason, you gotta move all that, please. Sorry, but I gotta go through these buckets. I'm gonna get you to hold the camera, one of you. Yeah, um. Okay, I just put it up here for now. Okay, you got the camera. Okay, I need empty buckets, Isaiah. I got one here, Isaiah. Okay. Right here. I should only need the one. Uh, oh, you should only need one? Should. So right now we're just sorting stuff out for future videos. So yeah, this way I give you guys a little extra content. And uh, that way you guys know how to clean things up better. So these are taps, 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 tap. These are a little different, but we can do a separate video on them as well. Did I throw one in here? I think I did. Okay, yeah, I need a... Uh, One more bucket, buddy. That way, if we're, they're organized, then we can do them in groups, right? So, that's those back in our dirty. Now, yeah. uh, this one. But yeah, I've been getting a lot of requests from people. Asking me how to clean up these pressure valves from uh, hot water tanks, so I'll do those. Oh, it's dirty. Isaiah is still new at all this, so at the same time teaching you guys, we're going to teach him too. And I mean, Rooster doesn't really know how to clean all these up too fully, so I'll learn a little bit as well as we go. We'll all learn together. Mm -hmm. Right, all in together. Yeah. See, these are dirty. The reason why I gotta cut off this top part because they are sticky on the top. Alright guys, so these are the videos we're going to do. We're going to do one of these, 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 back in the, front, back in the dirty grass. So we're going to do videos on these three here coming up, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah. So alright guys, but right now we're going to go and unload this truck full of tin. We'll see you guys at the scrapyard. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we are here at the scrapyard and emptying out the truck. Here, let me move those out of your way. Oh, 
I know I've seen that. I just slammed the thing. Jeez, I did. Yeah, careful with the tailgate. <laughs> Brand new tailgate. We'll put a wire in my way. Put it right on the furnaces, yo. Yeah. Put it on the furnaces. Preferably not on me. Don't stand in the land zone. This is why it's hard to get fitted. They always want to hit me with it. Guys, we'll be back when we find out what a pitch. Stay tuned. Hey guys, what's going on? So here's the ticket, tin shred. We had 380 pounds, 360 a ton for 68.40. Uh, aluminum pop cans. We had five pounds, 80 cents a pound, four dollars. Uh, old aluminum sheet, four pounds, 75 cents a pound for three dollars. Uh, dirty aluminum, we had six pounds, 18 cents a pound for a dollar eight. And electric motors, we had 21 pounds, 42 cents a pound, eight dollars and 82 cents for a grand total of 85 dollars and 30 cents. All right, guys, we are here trying to get some lunch. Uh, Rooster and uh, Isaiah can wait, but until next time, do us a favor like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Keep scrapping. Have a good one.